What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and we are back again for the second day in a row talking about the status of Eroctic versus Battlestate Games. And not only has Battlestate Games doubled down, they've now tripled down, and they've quadrupled down, and they're pretty much about to break ground in China. That's how far down they've gone. Instead of just admitting they were wrong, oh boy, they are riding this one to the grave. So, uh, we got a lot to talk about here, and a lot of evidence, and I'm screenshotting a lot of this because I feel like they, they don't have someone running PR, and this is the problem. There have been Polygon interviews, um, the, the famous freaking video game attorney was on the live stream taking a look at this case, and was like, basically, this is an open shut case for Eroctic, it's that easy. It, this is getting ugly, it is getting bad, so... We are going to talk about, um, and I'm going to drop some some pretty some pretty bombshell stuff in here, um, stuff that I, I've hinted to a few people before, and I was asked nicely by Battlestate Games to not talk about it, um, which I uh, I was like, fine, you know that that's fair, whatever. Um, I still had people that I was friends with that worked at the company, so I was like, whatever, you know, it's fine. Hey, you don't want me to talk about it, I won't. But now that this is now hitting newsstands and stuff, this is becoming more of a concern. <laughs> and and this, this this thing is catching more attention of people that, you know, it was below the radar, now it's not, kind of thing. Um, so this is, this is getting kind of funny. So, before we get started, um, they have removed two copyright strikes. Now we're going to go to one of their double down responses on, on Facebook, and, and I want you to kind of hear what they're saying, okay? Um, here we go. However, we like to specifically point out that we have restricted access only to project-related videos that did contain violations, while the rest of EFT videos remain on Eroctic's YouTube channel. Right now, we are thoroughly monitoring the videos that feature one or multiple facts of false representation, provocation of or violation of law or law violation as the result of this monitoring we will make the final decision in each particular video the strike will remain or be removed hmm so they took down videos and now they're backtrack tracking on the videos to see if they should be removed or kept striked isn't that something you usually do before you strike them? Oh man, that looks like a false copyright claim to me. Mm. Damn, they literally said that themselves. So, we're also going to go to the official BSG response, where Colonel Twerkins, who is tagged on Reddit as a Battlestate Games crew, said, and I quote, It is true that the music is copyrighted, copyrighted but Nikita allows its use. Okay, so the music's allowed to be used. They don't care if you, that's, you know, they're not going to copyright claim you for that. This is the same as any gameplay footage. Okay, so gameplay footage, they so won't copyright strike that. But it still remains intellectual property of BSG and can be taken down if need be. Well, there's no use of fair, nobody's talking about fair use in that. That, you know, okay. This is covered by the agreement in section 10. Now, what he's referring to is the end user license agreement. You know that little shitty thing on every piece of software and game that you click through and accept? Yeah. Mmm. Okay. So, you're telling me that an EULA is greater than the copyright law? Hmm. Okay. So, let me, let me, let me explain to you how stupid EULAs and TOSs are. I could put an EULA or a TOS that you would have to click through to get to, like, my personal site. Somewhere in there I could bury that you're going to be my sex slave if you accept this. It's a contract, right? You just accepted a contract. Well, guess what? If I take that to court and be like, why aren't you in my bedroom right now, sex slave? The judge is just going to throw it out. Sometimes EULAs hold up in court. Most of the time that, they're, that they work, that in my research has shown, that I was looking around at, is people specifically taking software, redistributing it, and that's what the EULA was covering and protecting against that. Things like this, though, superseding using an EULA, saying that we own everything, regardless of whether it's fair use or not, every single thing you put up, that's a big, okay, EULAs and TOSs do not trump law. It is, that's as about as basic as it's going to get. 
and they are hiding behind that, and they literally said they're hiding behind. This is covered in agreement in Section 10. That's sad, dude. You guys got to stop having him talk. <laughs> like that's that's really damning shit. You that's the thing. They need to get in control. They have people who are literally working for Battlestate Games that are out spewing whatever the hell they want. And dude, this is not. This is gaining attention super hard. So we're gonna go and scroll back on over to wherever the hell. Oh, Polygon. Okay, here's the Polygon article where. They specifically spoke to Battlestate Games. They didn't say who, but they did it through... I said a representative of Battlestate's public relations team. So I guess they have one via a translator. Okay, the reason... They stated the reason why we acted so strong and so quick is that we had to stop this in, misinformation about the data leak. Okay, cool. Um, that's what a cease and desist is. Literally. I, I stated this before, cease and desist are, are you to say, shut the fuck up about this or we will sue the shit out of you. And they work, not copyright strikes. I hate to tell you that, um, you know. And they also go to say, right now we are reviewing all the videos which, we, which were copyright strikes. If we find that those videos have no issues with the law, with negative rhetorics, we might call back our strikes. Whoa! They literally just admitted on Polygon that they just struck a bunch of videos and they have no idea if, if the ones that they struck violate anything that they disagree with whatsoever and they're now reviewing all those videos. So they admitted that they jumped the gun and they over just bombed the channel. Hmm, okay. Let's keep saying what else they got here. Uh, about, you know, the emissaries leaving, da 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 Okay, Battlestate admits, but even as Battlestate admits only two videos contain information about rumors of a security leak, the 40 plus videos that it issued DMCA notices against did not. Rather, they pulled them down simply because of the tone of their content. Wow. They literally just said that they pulled them down simply because of the tone of their content. Two fucking Polygon. Holy shit. That is like really fucking dumb. Oh my god. We know what this instrument is designed for, said the representative, referring to the DMCA claim system. We had to use this tool in order to stop the wave of misinformation. What's important to be noted is that we didn't ban this person in game. Huh, which is what your ELUA pretty much pertains to and your TOS is what you do in game with to people. Uh, we still have to play and stream on Twitch because he never cheated. He never broke the rules of the game and he never broke the rules of the license agreement on the game. Holy shit. Let's revert back to fucking Colonel Twerkins. Still remains intellectual property of BSG and can be taken down if needed. This is covered in agreement in section 10 of the EULA. Back to fucking Polygon. He never broke the rules of the license agreement on the game. Well, apparently he violated section fucking 10. Hmm. <sighs> but in this video, he spread a lie and we had to act fast to stop this. Like the right way, any lawyer or anybody who had a legal team would do it. A cease and desist. I've received one before. Guess what? They fucking work. It's amazing. Oh, copyright strikes are not a tool that is given to you by YouTube to fucking stop people's criticism and so-called slander. No, not so. No, 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 no. You do this the way the law states. And this is why there's a huge backlash because basically Battlestate said, fuck you, we're gonna do whatever the fuck we want because we wrote our EULAs and fuck Aroctic and basically here we are. Fantastic. Let's see if we got anything else. The representative said that there is not currently a formal policy in place for content creators regarding what is and what is not allowed to be created with footage from Escape from Tarkov. That's because it's covered in fair fucking use. Hmm. Polygon asked if they feel that they may be overstepping with the scope and scale of their actions and if that caused a chilling effect on YouTube. We understand that other content creators are worried about this, the representative continued, 
but through all the years of development, it's our first time we've used DMCA claims to the content creator. We are not going to do it anymore. Wow, so you actually realized that this was a bad fucking idea? We wanted to show that negative hype and misinformation cannot remain without punishment. Wow, so basically, negative hype will go punished. Fantastic. The game and the community do not deserve that. No, you apparently didn't deserve that. The community did not deserve you guys acting like a fucking child with a tan temper tantrum that your lollipop just got taken away. <sighs> oh, cool. Rather than issue DMC claims in the future, the Battle State representative said that going forward, they will instead employ more traditional lawsuits for things like defamation. Oh, it's not about making contact, they continued. It's about making false accusations. It's about lies. It's about misinformation. Anyway, you guys ready for the greatest hypocrisy to ever hit the fucking pages of this bullshit story? I posted a nice little tweet to Battle State Games about their comment. Said it's funny. A company... Oh, and by the way, this got more likes than their fucking shit. It's funny. A company enforcing copyright laws while violating copyright laws themselves. Wonder what a Glock Inc. thinks about all this. So here's a little story of all about how <laughs> Battle State got all turned upside down. As many of you guys know, uh, I have recently have started doing uh, firearm content. Uh, I went to SHOT Show, met pretty much everyone in the industry. Um, I'm affiliated with a lot of firearm companies, optic companies, retailers, etc. Um, I'm also represented by an agency that not only manages the marketing and licensing for a lot of these companies, but also gets the weapons um, and the licensing for movies. Um, they, they're the ones that get all the guns in the movies and stuff like that. They also get them in video games, etc. So I am pretty well versed in what's going on with the firearm industry and the gaming industry. Now the, the hilarious part about, and the, the ironic part about this is this is all done about Battle State protecting its intellectual property. Intellectual property, intellectual property. But when you open up the game, you got your, your Glock 17 with all its logos and all that stuff on there. And then you got your, uh, you got your Trijicon ACOG with all its logos and stuff on there. And then you got your, your SIG MPX with all its logos and stuff on there. And uh, I hate to tell you, they don't have a license agreement for any of those things. Now, Battle State does have license agreements for a few things. Primary Arms is definitely one that I know of right off the top of my head because I work with Primary Arms, um, and they did. But I can say with 110% certainty, they do not have a license agreement with Glock, Trijicon, or SIG. There are a few others, um, but I can confirm firsthand that they do not have a license agreement with those three whatsoever. So what does that mean? Well, it means they're violating the intellectual property rights of those three companies by putting their copyrighted, trademarked items in their game. Hypocrisy. Calling the kettle black. Look at that. Man, two wrongs don't make a right, but damn, it's kind of ironic. So, you know, it, and not saying anything's going to be done, but, you know, in the past, Glock has gone after PUBG. Huge, huge game. There's not a Glock in PUBG anymore. GM also did the same thing with Squad, um, with um, the Humvee, and there's no longer in that game. Um, now, knowing a few companies, Glock is Glock's starting to kind of let it, wanting to get into the industry. Uh, they were very anti, don't use our shit kind of policy for a while. A lot of the companies, though, and this is the weird part about it, and I won't go into detail because... I don't know what the terms were, but there was a, a uh, conversation between one company that I'm affiliated with and Tarkov and well, Battlestate about putting their products and you know licensing and stuff like that. These companies actually don't charge for licensing. The reason they do the licensing and the reason and you gotta you gotta imagine at the same time it's all about protecting your product, just like just like Battlestate's been trying to do with theirs, right? Well, the reason they do it and they want to do it for free is to make sure their logos aren't upside down, which is a funny story, which was told to me by one of the people in the gun industry. The people wouldn't take the, they're just, like, they said, fix the logo. And the game company's like, no. And they're like, it's upside down. No. And they're like, well, talk to our lawyers then. 
and things like that. Make sure the logos are right, the, pro the product's properly represented. You're not using, you know, X company's gun to shoot freaking US Marines, you know what I mean? Things like that. Um, so I find it very, and people are gonna be like, oh, devil, whatever, blah, 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 you know, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I do, because, you know, Battlestate, if this was untrue, Battlestate could easily hit me with a cease and desist. And guess what? It's true. And if Battlestate says any different, then they can go ahead and post the license agreements up on Facebook. You won't see them, because they don't have them. Not for those three companies. Um, so everything I'm saying is right. And, you know, it's true. And unfortunately, that's that's the ironic part to it, you know. it's They went all in ham and just drove this to the ground while they're just guilty of doing the same thing, you know, that they're trying to protect. It's just kind of ridiculous. It's It's... One of those things. I don't get it, but whatever, man. He can't. It's just, it's it's almost like watching a soap opera. It's that ridiculous. And the things that, the things that we were just reading were just out of control. I couldn't, can't even believe it. So I, I, I want to see those copyright strikes reversed against Rock Dick. They're, it's, it's an open and shut case for him, to be honest. And, you know, granted, it takes a lot of money to go to court and things like that and does it need to be resolved this way? No. I think Battlestate needs to admit it was wrong. Um, it overstepped its bounds. And apologize. Be the bigger men. Be, be the company that we want you to be. This isn't us hating on you as a company. This is us hating on your dramatic, uncalled for response. This should have never happened. This is not how you handle it. This is a business. And regardless of if what people think of content creators... We help sell games. We get paid to, like, game companies come to us to play their games so they sell copies. And they pay us to do it. Sponsor videos all the time. All the time. This is, an, this is marketing 101. Content creators market games. The, what you're seeing right now from content creators does not market Escape from Tarkov in a great light. And the more you see the negative, the worse it's going to get. And I think they just need to be the bigger men, step up, admit they were wrong, do the right thing. But until then, this is what we're dealt with, and this is uh, the hand we're going to get. So, anyways, boys, questions, comments, concerns, um, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.